Hi, my name is Jamil Corey, and I am the founding artistic director of Chicago's Silk Road Theatre Project, and I am the author of the video play Both And, uh, and this is my vlog. <laughs> Both And was derived from my stage play Wasp, White Arab Slovak Pole, which was commissioned and produced as part of the DNA Trail, a genealogy of short plays about ancestry, identity, and utter confusion. Now there's a mouthful. <laughs> what is the DNA Trail? Seven playwrights, myself included, we each took a genealogical DNA test, and then we wrote a short play in response to either the results of the tests or the conversations surrounding the tests. And then the collection of short plays uh, had its world premiere uh, at Silk Road Theatre Project in the spring of 2010. Why the title Both And? I learned the term Both And from second wave American feminism. Uh, I am a huge fan of the second wavers. For me, Both And is um, it's a rebuttal, it's a challenge to uh, the more masculinist notion of either or. And either or, of course, is a very established paradigm in the culture. This or that, black or white, us or them, uh, both and, on the other hand, uh, is holistic, it's, um, it's integrative, it's, uh, it's complementary. It's the idea that one can be both this and that. In my own life, I have um, often been asked to separate or compartmentalize, uh, to prioritize uh, the various components of my identity. Um, it has been suggested uh, that some of these, these components are at odds with each other. Um, Arab American and gay comes to mind. So since I actively refuse to uh, bifurcate uh, my person, I am a both-ander. Uh, and I think that that allows for um, fluidity. It allows for the fact that identities um, shift and evolve and are transformed. Um, and it is ultimately a, um, a much more liberating uh, uh, position from which to approach life um, than either or ever could be. How true to my life is the character of Jamil? Well, clearly he is uh, based on me, um, but it is not strict autobiography and I, I need to establish that, um, you know, he is not entirely representative of this Jamil. What inspired the character of Arab Man? I know this guy, or at least various iterations of this character. The conversations between Jamil and Arab Man are essentially composites of actual conversations I've had with certain Arab men over time. So, you know, he is a character for whom I feel uh, a great deal of affection uh, and, of course, familiarity. Um, but he also evokes uh, a certain anxiety and animosity um, within Jamil. Is the character of Arab man derived from a stereotype? You know, I am in the business of challenging stereotypes. Uh, as a theater artist, as a theater producer, I take very seriously the imperative of subverting stereotypes. Uh, I don't create stereotypes. Uh, so when certain um, Arab and Arab-American friends of mine, uh, mostly theater artists, uh, expressed misgivings about the character of Arab man, uh, I listened. On the one hand, they know the character very well, uh, perhaps too well. On the other hand, they worry that he is advancing a certain stereotype of Arab men. Uh, I maintain that this character um, is by no means representative of all Arab men. I would say that he represents social conservatism. His voice could be embodied by a South Asian character, a white American character, a Latino character, or whomever. Uh, what does the character of gay man represent to me? What he doesn't represent to me is all gay men or all white gay men. Uh, he represents a certain gay man who I knew for a very brief window uh, several years ago. And this gay man had all sorts of complicated reactions to me. My interest in him was probably much more immediate, far less complicated, and ultimately more primal. <laughs> 
what do I hope audiences uh, will take away from both and? I hope they love both and. Uh, <laughs> I hope it challenges you. I hope it spurs uh, conversation and uh, further inquiry. And um, I hope it uh, compels you to share it with, um, with everyone you know. <laughs> Thank you for watching my vlog. Y'all come back now, you hear?